it's not only okay to have feelings at work, but everyone has feelings at work. I think a lot of people exist under this traditional notion that you should just check your emotions at the door. A lot of people feel like they do have to check their emotions at the door when they come to work. Why is that? The workplace, especially in the last 50 or so years, has changed a lot. And the workplace used to be a place where you came in, you needed to be professional, you sort of put on this coat of armor. And now the workplace is changing and we need to bring our full selves to work. We're collaborating a lot more, we're working with teams of people, we're dealing with the messy emotions that we all bring. And so it's really important to be more authentic, to understand your own emotions and learn how to express them better. If we don't express them, then we are suppressing them and they come out in ways that are less than good for us. So if you don't say, you know, hey, this little thing that you're doing really annoyed me, then when that person does it another 20 times, it's gonna come out in anger, it's gonna come out in tears. And emotions do impact our decisions at work. One of my favorite parts of the book is when you guys talk about how feelings are not facts. Can you explain a little bit of what you mean by that? Yeah, so feelings aren't facts means that often when we're having a strong emotional reaction, we are having that reaction based on, on an assumption that we've made, and we never bother to check that assumption. And so in the book, we encourage people to use the framework, when you X, I feel Y. And that's a really nice way of starting a conversation about something that might be making you feel frustrated or upset without creating like a victim and a perpetrator. It just opens up a conversation based more on curiosity. Mm. And what are some other tips in the book for people at work who may be feeling angsty about a coworker or a boss? One of the things we talk about is that what you feel that you're thinking the other person is feeling may not be fact. As soon as you can sort of address that person and say, hey, I'm feeling like feel that you're thinking the other I took from this conversation, is that true? Am I taking the right thing from this conversation? The other thing, and this comes up a lot in teamwork, is to have a meeting before you start a project to share a, what we call a user manual, which is what's the best way to work with me? So it can be things like, are you a morning person? Are you a night owl? Are you an introvert? Are you an extrovert? These little things, if we don't talk about them up front, can become big issues later down the line. And it can be awkward to say like, hey, let's get together in a circle and sing Kumbaya and talk about our feelings. So important to schedule those moments in when we can share those work preferences um, at the beginning of a, of a project and check back in along the way.